Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Grey here, Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on Ariane Curry. Ariane Curry um, just did an interview, or at least Tasha K just played the interview. So she did an interview with Tasha K. I really believe this is the first and only time that Ariane has sat down and actually had a, a interview with someone. Tasha K did a good job because I can tell that Ariane would not have really gone or said much if she felt like the person that was interviewing her was asking her questions that she didn't want to answer. So the way Tasha K handled her, I feel like with kitten gloves, but I think she had to handle her, you know, uh, uh, softly, so to speak, or else Ariane would have shut down and not have spoken. So you should go to Tasha K's channel, watch the interview if you have not already watched it. But here is my take on Ariane. I still don't like her. I'm Team Melody, regardless of what comes out of Ariane's mouth. So Ariane considers herself a mistress, side chick, mistress. Um, I don't know the difference. Is there a difference? Um, if she wants to call herself a mistress, fine. I, I guess Tasha K was calling her mistress because of the amount of years that um, her and Mar Martell were together while he was still married to Melody. I just want to call her a side chick. That's how, what I feel she is. But let's get into this. So Tasha K asked Ariane, she said, you know, how long were y'all together before you knew he was married? Somewhere within nine months, he told her that he was married. But she felt at that particular time, she was already what I like to call lock and loaded. So she already cared for him. They was having great conversation. So she just carried on with the relationship. She also claims that she did not sleep with Martel until after nine months of them talking and just being great friends. Because they were great friends, according to her. Um, she didn't sleep with him until after nine months. Here's the thing with that. Do I think it's true? Absolutely not. I think that Ariane um, is pissed that the world feels like she is some type of whole um, slut and, you know, just this side chick. So she wants to change her image and she thinks by saying that she did not sleep with this man, a married man, until nine months after they met and it was just such close great friends that people are going to feel differently about her and the image that is currently out there about her i don't feel any differently i don't care if it was nine months 12 months two years um three years you still slept with a married man man and and and, and i don't have no love for you on that particular note let me put on my glasses here and, and let me just see some of the things she said she she actually came out of her mouth and said um, that she feels a little bad because black women should have respect for one another. So she feels a little bad because black women should have respect for one another. But in this interview, Tasha asked her more than once, would you like to apologize to Melanie? This chick said no. But you just said black women should have respect for one another. And that's why you feel bad for sleeping with someone else's husband because the respect level should be if you know a man is married you shouldn't mess with him but yet you mess with someone else's husband for years and the person interviewing you asks you to apologize and you like no but yet we should have respect for one another okay yeah so she was introduced um to martel by friends of hers and she claimed those friends had no clue no idea that he was married i mean i guess oh okay um now she was pregnant by martel a total of three times so the two pregnancies before the baby that she currently had um, the first one she said she miscarried. The second one she said she aborted. 
Um, the third one, she said Martel did ask her to abort the baby, but she did not. And I think the second one, she just wanted to abort that one herself, okay? She said that her and Melody were pregnant at the same time. So not just the last baby, you know, that she had, but Melody's third baby, Ariane was pregnant at the same time as Melody, and that's when Mel um, um, Ariane did not have the baby, okay? She's messy. So, before you had your actual son, and God bless your son, you miscarried one of his children, a married man, and then you aborted a second one. And still, at no point during those situations did you say to yourself, you know what, I should just leave this married man alone. Nah, because she loved the conversation and they were really good friends. So you have a really good friend that you are sleeping with who happens to be married. You have one baby that you miscarried of his. The second baby you decided not to have slash he didn't want you to have because you was pregnant at the same time as his wife. Now, this is your friend that you have these great conversations with. So, none of this other stuff that's going on negates the great conversations and triggers in your brain, I should leave this man alone. But let's carry on, okay? She said, the reason why her and Martel are not currently together is because they're both damaged. So, after... And she's claiming she didn't break up the marriage, you know... People can have their own opinion about that. I feel she was definitely a factor and a major factor in breaking up their marriage, okay? Was she the only thing? Probably not, but was she top on the list? Wholeheartedly, okay? So way before now that he's divorced and not with you, you didn't realize y'all was both damaged and you didn't say to yourself, let me leave him alone. Again, another opportunity to say, let me leave this married man alone. No, you didn't realize it then. But now that he's divorced and y'all not together, you want to claim y'all not together because he's damaged and he needs counseling. Well, sweetie pie, you need counseling also. But you can push the narrative that y'all not together because he is damaged and that's why but i'm gonna put this out there y'all not together because a lot now there's some rare cases where the mistress at the end gets to marry the man or the side chick gets to marry the man but usually it doesn't pan out that way and even if they get married it doesn't pan out well again my opinion so why are you not with Martel? Because he never intended to leave his wife. He never intended you as a side chick to be the breakdown of his marriage. His intentions was to be with his wife and to see you when he sees you. And every time he left a seed in your body, his intentions wholeheartedly was to tell you not to have it. I mean, you said the first one was a miscarriage. It's your body. We got to believe you. The second one you decided not to have, okay? So that tells you what he's telling you to do with your body right now, your best friend. The third one, you told, you said that he also told you not to have him, but God bless that your son is here. So let's carry on. She talked about, and this came up in the reunion, um, how, well, we learned in the in the three part love and marriage Huntsville reunion how and when um, Marceau met Ariane. Right, it was some little trip they was on. They had an Airbnb, and she claimed at that uh, encounter one that she took the picture, and two that the two other guys, meaning Maurice and um, um, Marcel, had themselves. A side piece there okay and so disrespectful she called the side pieces linebackers and i never heard of this term before but apparently it's a term in the south and she said that means that the women are stocky and not cute okay 
So here's the thing again. Ariane is pissed about how uh, 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 Love and Marriage Huntsville producers in their own channel, and she had the nerve to say um, Oprah, which is so crazy, but we'll get into that. She doesn't like the way that they portray her on the show, how they're using her likeness. She swears on everything she loves, okay? And I'm paraphrasing in this, that the reason why this show is successful is because every storyline, every second, they're using her name and her likeness. And that is what carried the show for years. She's tired of them using her name. She's tired of them using her likeness. She wants them to move on to a different storyline, okay? So she doesn't like the way that she's being portrayed on the show. But yet, when she describes the alleged alleged mistresses that are side pieces that the other two guys had during this trip she calls them linebackers okay this is Arion the the portraying herself as the victim in this whole situation again I have such a problem with it so Tasha K said that um I can't remember, did Tasha K say it or maybe did Ariane say it that she was Martell's pacifier? Um, she definitely was. Ariane definitely was his pacifier. And um, she also, which I didn't like, it pissed me off. And maybe it pissed me off because I'm Team Melody. She said um, for the third baby, he asked her to have an abortion. And um, she claims at some point Melody had an abortion also. Girl, don't be telling nobody about somebody else's body and what somebody else did to their body. So the reason why she claims she did not have um, the abortion with her current son is because she just had one. And I guess she didn't want to put her body through that. I can't with Arianne. But let's continue on. So, at one point, I want to say it was last season, not the season that just passed, it was the season before that, Arianne did have a scene where Martel was driving in the car and um, she called. Now, she claimed that call, they wanted to be a FaceTime call, but she said no. And she said they spoke about many things. And Martel did tell her that, you know, he was going to speak about the DNA test. And she claimed that, you know, this, they were just going to talk about that because they needed something to talk about. But again, Boo Boo, you saying that the producers played you out. But your own best friend, Martel, okay, the one that impregnated you, he's going to say to you, we need something to talk about, so let's talk about a DNA test, and you say, okay, I would be like, no, if I'm going to call, we could talk about anything but that. Because Ariane claims she only slept with Martel the whole time that she was being the mistress or the side piece. So now you're going to allow him, once again, after this man called you a whole peasant, on a show, you're going to allow him now to do a phone call and, and talk about a DNA test. I'll get to it, but my whole thing with Ariane, all she wants, what she's really pissed about, is she wants to be a player on Love and Marriage Huntsville. But we'll get into that, okay? So now she says she has a personal issue between her and Oprah. She has looked up to Oprah when she was growing up. Again, with the sisterhood thing and all of that. You care about sisterhood, girlfriend, and you sleeping with somebody else's husband? Give me a break. But anyway, she wants to say, you know, Oprah, how could Oprah... Um, you know, allow me to be portrayed like this on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Girl, are you delusional, dumb, stupid, both or all of the above? First of all, do you really think Oprah... First of all, I heard Oprah doesn't even run on anymore, but that's a whole nother story. Let's pretend she does. All of those shows that are on the own channel, do you think Oprah is sitting at her house looking at every one of them and saying, oh my gosh, how could y'all be portraying a mistress in a bad light? Why are y'all doing this to Ariane? 
Let's call Arion, get her on the show, and let's hear her side. Girl, stop it and buy. All right. She said, Arion, again, a lot has been done to me. Okay? And she also said that Melanie was sleeping with her attorney. <laughs> this girl was so messy in this interview, girl. Y'all got to watch it, okay? Um, and she also said that the reason why, you know, producers have called her, producers have spoken to her, um, and I heard, but hey, listen, this is what I heard, that Ariane's been in Carlos King inbox all day long. Ariane wants to be on Love and Marriage Huntsville, and that is what she is really pissed about. And she said that, you know, Melody won't film if she fails, and that's right, I wouldn't either. That's the house that Melody built. So what? You want to complain, Ariane, and say, oh, they keep using your name and your likeness? Boo-boo, you slept with somebody's husband for years. You've been using somebody else's husband, so now you're getting used. Oh, well, bingo, whatever, okay? She claimed she was in nursing school, um, but she did not finish nursing school because of the stress that the show, you know, brought upon her and how this whole thing has changed her life. She's also, you know, writing a book. She has her own clothing line, and I guess her clothes sell out online. God bless her. She has two children to feed, and she's a single mother. She says she doesn't believe and um, want to get married, you know, because all men cheat. Well, honey, honey, do all men cheat? I mean, woman got a problem too. Clearly, you had no problem sleeping with somebody else's husband. Maybe he wouldn't even have the opportunity to cheat if you said no. Overall, what do I think about Ariane Curry in this interview? I think she's a whole hot mess. I think she will probably never interview with somebody um, getting it in with her and asking her some real down and dirty questions. I also know for a fact from listening to that interview that her her end game is she wants to be Melody and she wants to be on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I'm glad Melody will refuse to film if she comes on the show. Who wants it there? She also said that this last reunion that um, uh, Martell was texting her the whole entire time and asked could they do a recorded like phone conversation with her, whatever. And she claimed that she said no. I think because she's looking for payment, she wants to be a key player in Love and Marriage Huntsville and she wants her side of the story to be told because she feels that they did not tell her story correctly and she is not, you know, just some little, you know, a slut or whatever, you know, sleeping with somebody else's husband that is not her there is more to her story her more i don't want to hear because one her more is out in people in their business okay she want to tell what melanie allegedly did to her body based upon i'm guessing information that martel must allegedly tell her she want to tell that these other two chicks um husbands been cheating on them too so now you just didn't destroy one marriage you want to destroy the other two you want to sit there and call the people that they allegedly was with linebackers so you're being disrespectful to sisters but yet out of your same mouth you said we should respect each other and you want to come on and tell your side of the story. Well, I don't want to see you, honey. I watch Love and Marriage Huntsville all the time. I don't want to see you come on and tell no parts of your story. I'm not interested. Not interested in your book either because what more are you going to tell us, you know, about, you know, you being with um, Martel. And she also claimed that Melody was constantly calling her. And she said she want them to change the narrative that she was calling Melody and, and let everybody know that Melody was constantly calling her. I really don't care who was calling who. Chick, you was with someone else's husband. In the name of Nene Leakes, close your legs to married men. Anyway, guys, let me know how do you feel about Arion. 
Did you see the Tasha K interview? If you did not see the interview, I, I go over there. It wasn't that long. Go over there and watch it. Um, it's it's like I said, for what it's worth, it is a good interview because Tasha K had to kind of play lightly with her so that she wouldn't get emotional and probably stop the interview. So she got what she can get from this girl. And again, like I said. All she really wants is to be on Love and Marriage Huntsville. She wants to be Melody. And she can sit there and pretend all day long that she doesn't want to marry Martell. She never asked him to leave Melody. The lies, the lies, the lies, the lies. I do not believe it for 1.2 seconds. I believe that wholeheartedly she wants to marry Martell. I believe wholeheartedly that she wished that she was Melody. And every time she watched that TV, she got pissed knowing that Martell would go see her on the side. But in the meantime, he was praising his wife on that screen. He was with his wife on that screen. It was pissing and ticking her off. So she wants to go on the show and wreck havoc, but Melody will not allow it because she's not going to film with her. There it is. Guys, chat with me in comments. Let me know how you feel. Will you be getting this book when she writes it and drops it? I don't know. Maybe I'll read it um, um, in the bookstore. I won't actually buy it. I'll sit there and read a chapter by chapter in the bookstore to see, you know just to see what she has to say i'm still not sure she's pissing me off i'm team melody anyway guys chat with me in the comment don't forget to hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video